So Schaefer is a German brand that's been around in the rest of the world for 62 years. Uh, we're newer to the United States, but we're in 50 countries. Uh, we will soon definitely be a household name as well. We were the very first compact articulated loader to exist in the world. We created the market. Um, we have a lot of newcomers in the U.S. market, which we welcome, of course. Uh, we're uh, coming into the market as well. Some of the differences um, are that this is a this is basically a true construction piece of equipment, just shrunk down rather than you know a small, uh, more DIY type of product. Um, this particular piece of equipment, the 2628, can actually lift uh, 2,200 pounds. Uh, we have another product that's actually even a little bit smaller that can lift 3,400 pounds and it can get as narrow as 35 inches to be able to go through a 36 inch gate. So what type, what type of uh, an engine? It's a Kubota engine. It's a, it's a Kubota engine, uh, three cylinder. We have Kubota engines in all of our models that go up to about 50 horsepower. Uh, above that, 60 and above, we have Deutz engines. Um, and um, we have service centers everywhere, so obviously um, it's, a, it's a machine that almost never breaks anyway, but um, it's very well received in the market currently. Uh, this, this machine, one of the advantages also is that it has a universal headstock, a universal um, skid steer headstock, so you don't have to buy the attachments from us. We will be have many attachments and we're happy to sell them to you, but there's many uh, guys out there that have you know, thousands of dollars sitting in their yard in terms of uh, their skid steer attachments. You don't have to buy new attachments. This will take the buckets that you have, this will take the forks that you have, it'll take the grapples and, and a slew of different very highly specialized attachments as well. So you could use this uh, any any type of time of the season. You could use it to move snow. You could Correct. use it to Correct. pick that's up pick up logs if you're uh, cutting down trees. Right. That's one of the advantages. You know, you have a, a one piece of equipment that's going to be very just multifunctional uh, and very versatile. We have um, guys in particular that do landscaping. You know, one season and then do the snow uh, during the winter, and they're really really liking the idea of not having to have two sets of equipment because on this one you're doing all your landscape needs um, during that season and then you switch over and you can put a plow, um, a snow blower, a salt spreader in the back um, and the, the size and the, the axis that you have with a small machine is that you're doing sidewalks very easily and the other big advantage with an articulated loader is that you're not tearing up wherever you are so if you're using this on grass uh, you're not tearing up all the turf um, and having to come in and fix everything uh, and have a second job that you're not getting paid for, essentially. So what is the contact for people who might be interested in getting in touch with you and having to you answer some questions? Yeah, them? sounds good. So we are DFD Loaders, um, and uh, we're at dfdloaders.com. You can um, go on there, fill out a contact uh, information. My name is Rachel. We have different people in the office. David is somebody also that can help you with uh, pro product uh, questions. And uh, we're at 954-283-8839 in Florida, but we distribute everywhere in the country. Thank you very much. All right, much. sounds good. Thanks so much. Okay, yeah. Uh, what are the specifications for this model right here as far as lift capacity and uh, height and general rundown of that. Sure. So this is our 2428 model uh, Schaefer loader. It's a 25 horsepower Kubota diesel engine and uh, you get about a 90 and a half inch lift to the pit with this machine. It's got a nice low center of gravity and the max lift on this thing is 3,700 pounds. The tipping load on it is 2,400 pounds or 2,600 pounds, excuse me. Uh, that's with a bucket. With a forks you're going to get about 2,000 pounds on that. Okay, do you have uh, pounds per square inch as far as the weight on the tires on the ground maybe? Uh, I don't have a ground pressure yeah, information for you on that. Just, I know I don't, that it's got turf tires. It's I'm got just turf wondering. tires. Generally, it's a really low uh, ground pressure um, on, the, on all four tires there. It's got one of the tightest turning radiuses on the market, as you'll see. Um, and uh, you can take that machine the way it sits now. It's 48 inches wide with turf tires. You can take that down with two other sets of tires, so either 37 and a half inches or 35 inches to get through a 36 inch gate. Nice. Yeah. Quite a bit of machine to fit through a 36 inch gate. It is. Um, 
Where, how long has this company been in business again and where are they from? So, uh, Schaefer is out of Airwood, Germany. Uh, we're a 62 year old company and we've, we're in 50 different countries. And we brought them here to the U.S. about two years ago now and we really hit the ground running with the machine. And, and whenever they are imported in, you guys automatically put the, uh, the attachment plate for Bobcat, quote unquote, the Bobcat right. quick attachment. Yeah, we call it the universal plate, which is basically what all the you know skids use, uh, the New Holland, Bobcats, everyone uses a typical 44 inch uh, full plate on there. So on all our 25 up to 50 horsepower machines, we bring them in with that standard uh, universal plate on there. So that way you don't have to purchase new attachments. If you've got your own, which most guys do, just purchase a machine and go to town. Okay, I see those auxiliary hydraulic lines on the front. That's right. So you're looking at grapples, uh, trencher perhaps, yep. uh, Literally over 200 different attachments you can put on the front end of this thing. Anything with third, uh, function auxiliaries, as long as you match up the gallons per minute on this thing, there's a number of different items that we can use on there. Snow blowers, trenchers like you mentioned, nogger, uh, concrete mixer, uh, saws, there's even a stump grinder we can get on there for you. A number of different things. All right, yeah. well, can I give it a try? Let's go. You got your safety ROP system here. This machine also has an option to come with an enclosed cab if you wanted to, AC and heat. That's always a plus. Yeah. yeah. Most guys don't, depending on where you live, they want to be able to communicate and talk to each other. You can put a plow on this. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing sidewalks, you're doing, sidewalks, you're doing driveways, you're doing small areas that most other guys don't want to put the heavy machinery on. Yeah. Here's one of our biggest features, too, um, that stands out against the other competitors that we have is access to maintain your engine. If you just lift up the two gates. You lift the bonnet up in the back. Oh, nice. That's it. Wide open. Easy access to your whole engine compartment. Change out your fuel filter. Change out your oil filters on the side. All your hydraulic fills are on the side. Air cleaner, air filter. Nice. Doesn't get any simpler. Yeah. Every one of our other competitors, you've got to take apart four or five different panels. You're 20 minutes in before you can even get to the compartment. Right, right. It's super easy. No kidding. <coughs> All right, can we go over the controls a little yeah. bit? We need to uh, run down to the controls. All right. Get our safety belt on. Safety first. Make sure OSHA doesn't get on us. Right, right. Um, simple, we'll go over the pedals. The far right pedal is your accelerator. Okay. One next to it is your brake. This is called an inch pedal. Okay. So what this does is it diverts hydraulic power from your lifting arm to your drivetrain. And it's basically got three, three main functions. Once you get into a work groove, if you want to cycle that arm up and down faster, if you press down on that and accelerate while you use your joystick, you're going to go up and down a lot faster. Okay. It's kind of like a clutch thing. It's kind of like a clutch. Hydraulic yep. clutch. Like a hydraulic clutch, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. Give her a little more juice when you need a little bit more juice to make her go faster. You got it. The other thing is, let's say you got a real heavy load on there and you're on uneven terrain and you don't want to be bouncing all over the place. As you're driving with that load nice and low to the ground, you press down on this pedal. The more you press, the more it's going to slow you to a crawl. Hence, inch pedal. That's what the inch okay. comes from. So you kind of inch along, crawl along without being bouncing all over the place. Without changing your RPM. Without changing your RPM, that's it. Yeah, you, there's no, there's no uh, throttle on this. You don't rev this thing up. It's it just hits, it, it hits its mark and then that's and it. Goes. That's it. Yeah. And then the third thing, say you're going into a pile of sand or gravel like this. Well, it's only a 25 horsepower machine, so you're only going to get so much power out of it. But if you want to go in and get a full load, you use this kind of like a clutch in a, in a stick car, where you you drop it, you accelerate, you pop it, and you go in fast. Okay. You get a little more up into it. Yeah. Kind of like a delay there. Let her delay, get your RPM a little higher. And then you go. Let her out. Right, right it'll fly out on you. Yeah. Good fight. Yeah. So here you can uh, you can adjust your steering column. Adjust it to each individual user, however you want. You got working lights on the machine, you got LEDs in the top, you got two LEDs in the back and one on the working arm in case you weren't into those late night jobs. 
Okay, you got your parking brake here, which is the only thing, the only safety feature that's gonna prohibit you from turning that machine on. If the parking brake's not engaged, it won't turn on. Both gates down and locked. Then you can go ahead and cycle through the engine, turn it on. No glow plug, nothing like that? There is a glow plug that's been going on all day, so you're, you're fine. Okay. Okay, accelerator, brake, that's it. Forward and reverse is on your thumb on the joystick. So there's your, yeah, there's your switch, you go forward, neutral, reverse, and there's your lifting arm back and up. Your uh, parking brake still on. Oh, nice. Once you get that down, now you're good to go. our demo model so it's manual but they normally all come with our quick attach yeah.
the log? I won't. I'll but you can lift it and put it down, yeah. Yep. No problem. trying to curl and you're all the way curled. Oh, okay. Alright. Now when you come back down, make sure you come smooth because you got 1,800 pounds that high, you're going to bounce a little bit forward if you go and stop. So just come down smooth on it. But you, can, you can go all the way up if you want. And here's where that, that inch pedal comes into play. So that's a normal speed there. Now bring it down, straight down. Press down on that inch pedal over there. Accelerate. Now lift that arm. That's what I mean when you get into a workflow, you learn how to use that pedal. You can just work a lot faster. And go up and down. Try to close something that's already closed and you just got pressure building right. up. So you just gotta let go of that. What's that particular bucket? It took me a minute to get used to it because it's it's longer. It's, it's yeah, it's long. Yeah. Like, like, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, you can use we've actually since it's a universal headstock on it, we've sold a 60 inch low profile like a skid bucket on there. Uh -huh. If you're more comfortable using that. You just don't want to get wider than that 60 inches because then you start to put it Official turf guy who set up with a Harley rake, a planer, uh, and then we got him a ramrod because his his uh, carpet rolls, his artificial turf rolls are 15 foot long. So he's got a ramrod that sits on the cage of the uh, of the pallet forks. Okay. He grabs that thing and takes it into the tight yards. Nice. Yep. Now he takes a Harley rake, preps the yard first, then takes a planer and smooths everything out. Then takes that in there and does what he's got to do with it. Yeah. You want this place back over there or you want to move it on? Alright, now, neutral. Neutral, park your brake. And usually put the, uh, put the tool all the way down. Good. This also has a float position, by the way. If you're floating stuff, you go backwards. Right. You drop that all the way down, you're in float position. Okay. Yeah. I was also noticing that whenever you, whenever you raise it, I mean, it's, it's self-leveling. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Yeah. Like, our, we got a Kubota that's not, yeah. Yeah. no yeah. self-leveling. How many times have you dropped yourself? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stuff falls back on you. Yeah. 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 Very, very nice. Yeah. 
But, I mean, also, it's... Nah, that's right. No, no, no harm. Fucking okay. break this on. And you can, the other advantage of our machines, you can get in, in the, either, side. either side. So, this is, this is uncomfortable because of the joystick, but if you're ever in a situation where you're pinned up against one side, you want to be able to access and get in on the right, side. Right, absolutely. And yeah. our, our gates go up and down also to clear access. So Some other gates go like that or they'll open out this way. Don't make any sense. You, you stuck up against something. Right. You can't open up. Yeah. Now, even on the enclosed ones, it's the same way. They, they, they do this? No. That would be a DeLorean. And we don't have the DeLorean model. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do. The, the doors do open. Yeah, there's no way getting around that now. So, in addition to turf tires, you've got the, you've got the aggressive agriculture tires? Yeah. 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 I'll show you. It comes with the multi-track, so we can get you an all-ground tire, which got a little bit more grip on it. Uh, still doesn't do as, uh, as much damage to the turf, and it's the same width as those. Then you start stepping down inside. Then you go to our SKDs, and that makes the machine 37 inches wide. Then from there, you go down to our AW tire. If you really want to get through a tight spot, that, that takes the machine down to 35 inches. So this is where you were saying, if you had if you had these, yep. okay, and then you have you know, the multi track or the all all ground. Yep. Just, just swap. Pull into your yard. Well, you and can. it's a, it's an easy swap. You press down the bucket on the front end. You change the front two tires. Right. And you just need to jack up the back. Oh. All right. Well, thank you very much for the hey, for your time.